Theo, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's how I'm feeling right now. Saw something today online on a website, and I was like, I have to make a video about this because I understand where we are in the off season. but if there is a preposterous rumor or something that is related to my team, I got to talk about it because that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Like Usher said, that's what, that's what I'm here for. I almost said something else, but... Yeah, this is a family channel. But listen, I saw today, okay? And this is a website that is powered by Fansighted. So it's the equivalent to Side Lion from the Detroit Lions. And it is three most likely trade spots for Micah Parsons. And I don't know if that's how you get clicks by putting most likely, but I'm here to tell you as a Detroit Lions fan, analyst, fanalist, don't steal that, copyright me, that this is... Ain't no way, ain't no how going to happen. Spoiler alert. All right, but you clicked on this video anyway, so let's proceed. This is coming from, all right, whatever website this is. But again, it is related to fan sighting, okay? Now, th th I, I just can't even deal with this. Basically, Michael Parsons' attitude is why it's time for him to get th that Dallas, he's upsetting the the, the the Dallas Cowboys or whatever the, whatever their fans are called whoever they are they're he's upsetting them and now the Detroit Lions do need pass rushing help and let's get it look let me be very clear Micah Parsons is a stud he's a stud but he don't belong on this team and I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna already debunk this from day one right from the jump this video could have been 10 seconds but what fun is that we passed on Micah Parsons to select Panay Sewell Either way, could have went, right? We needed an offensive lineman. Panay was the right choice. Micah Parsons feels some type of way. And I remember him saying when Jalen Ramsey was up to be traded, don't nobody want to come to Detroit. And guess what, bro? We don't want you, period. All right, so here is what <laughs> is, wow, that, that's all I can say. Listen, so what would it take for Micah Parsons? What could we, do we have trade capital? Do we have assets? Will we be using players, picks, or a combination of both? Check this out. It says the Lions also have trade assets that could be intriguing for the Cowboys. Not only could running back David Montgomery or Jameer Gibbs be of interest to the to Dallas, but the Lions also had one of the best offensive lines in the league last season. Considering the Cowboys' desperate need to strengthen their O line, there could be an opportunity there at a first round pick or two, and the deal could could start to look good for the Cowboys. So wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Who's adding a first-round pick? The Lions are adding a first-round pick. So let me get this straight. So you telling me for David Montgomery, or we trade away Jameer Gibbs or Monty, and a first-round pick for Micah Parsons? Are you, bruh? <laughs> wow. Why is this? This must be, I'm guessing Tony Baker wrote this article. Tony Baker, one of my favorite comedians out there. Shout out to TB. All right. This must be Tony Baker. Must be doing stand-up. All right. What are we talking about? The Detroit Lions could have had Micah Parsons, but we said no. Micah Parsons, and we took Panay Sewell because Panay fits the team. Parsons doesn't. Now, I made a video about talent versus character and how you have to weigh and you have to pick and choose. C.J. Gardner-Johnson was a perfect example of talent Talent versus character, right? And he ain't leave no talent. He ain't put, I mean, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't even well enough to play half the time. More than that. Micah Parsons, he is a dog. There's nothing, there's no denying that. Would the Detroit Lions trade from Micah Parsons? I'm going to say no. Will we trade away Jameer Gibbs or David Montgomery? I'm going to say to the no, no. And will we throw in a first round pick as well? Are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? That is the question I would be asking to Brad Holmes or anyone who entertained a trade involving David Montgomery, even Monty, man. Are we kidding? So let me get this straight. Let me ask you. Let's say we trade. David Montgomery is on a two, three-year deal. He's entering year two. He's about 26 years old, right? If they said, you give us Monty, because I don't know what they're doing at their running back situation because Pollard plays for another team now. They, I, I'm hearing some Elliott reunions. But let's say, let's just entertain this gibberish this nonsense so what what are we doing here we're so we're gonna throw in a first round pick 
All right. And, and then you send somebody off our offensive line who Decker. So now. You, OK, so, OK, let's do this. Montgomery, first round pick Parsons. Man, eh, they give us a fifth somewhere around there or Taylor Decker. First round pick Micah Parsons for in a fifth. You taking that? Are you taking that? Taylor Decker is intriguing because I want to say he's on the last year of his deal. He's aging. Uh, you know, but you're talking about anchoring the offensive line. One thing, you know how long it takes for an offensive line to jail the way our team is jailed? And we're going to plug in Kevin, and he's going to fit right in. He's an old veteran. He's going to fit. I don't think our offensive line is going to skip a beat. So me personally, I'm not trading Panay Sewell or first-round pick for Michael Parsons. We can we, – we, look, that, that ship has sailed. We could have paid money for Daniel Hunter. Or Daniel, I'm not doing this. So, I mean, I understand – Y'all talking about negativity sales? I mean, whew, this is nonsense. This is not, and like I said, I, I don't think this came from anywhere. The headline on this article is three most likely Micah Parsons trade destinations if rumors are true. So if the trade rumors are true, so you have if rumors most likely and our team is on there. Come on, man. Listen, I do this stuff. I do it for fun. I do it because it's enjoyable, but I also do it to because I speak the truth, right? This is nonsense. Absolutely. Now, this other stuff, Brian Burns, Josh, Josh Allen, eh, will Brad Holmes do it? Eh. Even though I don't think he's going to do it, I still got to make a video about it. You would never see me make a video about Micah Parsons coming to Detroit outside of this one because this, we passed on him. We selected not to select him. We chose. We opted out of drafting Micah Parsons at seven. Man, is it time for the NFL drive yet? Because we need something to talk about. Because this is ridiculous. Would Micah Parsons be a big deal? Yeah. Yeah, but I tell you what. All that talent. Look, I'm, 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 I'm with talent. I'm not saying you got to be, you got to cause ruckus. Because ruckus is something different than, I think, okay, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, I don't think he caused ru – he was on the fringes of ruckus, like with the ski mask and all that and the Debo Samuel stuff. I think he was on the, the edge of ruckus. Micah Parsons, between the comments about Skip Bayless and the podcast and – the nope, he is ruckus. I'm not saying that he's, he's a bad guy. He just – that's not what we're trying to bring to this team. So all the talent in the world, we keep saying it. You got to have something. I want you to have talent, but I want you to have character as well. If you have more talent than character, that's fine. As long as you ain't causing ruckus or being a criminal, I'm cool. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. This is preposterous in my opinion, but I would love to know your thoughts. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel as well. We will be live for the NFL Draft in less than two weeks. We're doing all three days. We're doing all day Thursday, all day Friday, and all day Saturday. Saturday, I'm going to need your help because it's going to be long. So I'm going to need you to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so YouTube does their job, hopefully. And when we go live, you get notified. Or you can click the little bell, okay, in the little corner of your cell phone because I know that's where you're watching me at. And you can go down and see, oh, man, Lion Syndicate is live. And then you can come in. To the draft show. We're gonna have a good time, man. We had a great time. I'm gonna have my guy on the Dern and maybe some other guests as well. Take care of yourself and each other because you guys are awesome. And remember, this channel is brought to you by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. Take care of yourself, and as always, go Lions. <laughs>